good guys. Now, have you ever had a add-on car that you found on GTA mods or anything like that that is only made for single player? Well, don't worry because I'm going to show you how you can make that 5M ready today. So with that said, let's get right into it. First off, straight up, what you want to do is you want to go to the first link in the description, which is going to be the Open IV link. You want to go ahead and download that. I've already got downloaded, so I'm not going to do that. Just click this green button here. And once you've got that downloaded, you want to go ahead and open it up. Now, once it's opened up, you're going to see GTA 5 and click Windows. Now, when this is going ahead and going up, you want to go and click the edit button in the top corner and then click yes. Now, if you want to make a mods folder, you just, um, you know, right click mods and then inside mods, you want to make an update and then x64. And then I made an add on vehicles uh, folder, but you don't have to. So now that you've got that ready, just go ahead and minimize that for now. Now, once you've got the vehicle that you'd like, to uh, convert to 5M, go ahead and download that. So basically what we're doing here is we're just um, taking the script, not the scripts, the configs and all of that like uh, modding and stuff from OpenIV since you cannot do it here. See, so what you want to do is you want to get the dlc.rpf and go ahead and drag that into OpenIV. Now you see it's here, I'm going to double click, open that up, and then go into x64, go into vehicles.rpf, and you'll see you have this .yft underscore high .yft and .ytd. So what you want to go ahead and do is copy them, or not copy them, sorry, go into your folder that you'd like them to go in, or just make a new folder for now for the vehicle. I'm just doing this in tutorial uh, folder. So you want to go ahead and drag them in. Now if you want to make a new folder in there and call it stream, go ahead and drag them into stream. And also while you're there, you can go ahead and make a text document. If you want to go ahead and open that up. And then what you want to do is click file, save as, and you want to name it underscore underscore resource dot lua. And then you want to go down here and change this from txt and change that to dot lua. Give me a second so I can find it. I'm not sure why it's doing that, but that's fine. We'll do that for now. So that's saved as a text. But what I can do since I've got it on here is see that that is now a lua source file. Okay. So I want to go ahead and close that. And then back out of here, you want to go back into the dlc.rpf go into the data folder and you want to get these and you want to drag them into your folder as well not into the stream bit just here we'll be fine and then hang on with me i'm going to transition to the next bit so i can get the uh so what you're going to want to go ahead and do is look in the description and you want to look for this code that i just copied in here so what this is is this is basically saying that uh all of these are the data files for the vehicle. So I'm going to save that. Now what you want to do is you want to check. So you see car calls. Car calls is there. Car variations. Car variations is there. DLC text. DLC text does not need to be there. Handling.meta is also there. And vehicles.meta is also there. Now you may notice that vehicle layouts isn't there. Or one of these wouldn't be there for you maybe. So all you have to do is very simple, you just delete the one that is not there. So I'm going to delete the vehicle layouts. And as we say, we've got the vehicles handling, car variations and car calls. So these can all stay. And then simple as that, you just close that and that is done. Now, essentially, this vehicle is done now. And if you see here, this would be the spawn code for the vehicle, take hands 20. So now what you want to do is you want to put this into your server. And you want to start in CFG and then I'll go ahead and show you that this works right now. Okay, as you can see, we just got in the server. Now I'm going to go ahead and transform the vehicle in. Forgot to put a slash car on the front of that. Now we don't have an error, so I believe this is going to work. We'll just give it a second for it to load in.
Hopefully this works. I believe it is going to work. It's just taking one second. Okay, there we go. You could see it just loaded in. So the car worked. Uh, everything's good. You know, it's a nice car. So there you go. I hope this uh, helped you. I hope you was able to get your vehicles in. With that said, uh, see you. Well. <laughs>